Call it competitiveness or just plain jealousy. Here are the top moments Stephen A. Smith threw jabs at Shannon Sharp. Now following Unk's super successful YouTube meteoric rise with Club Shay Shay and Nightcap, Stephen A. Smith finds himself reacting to Shannon Sharp's most viral moments versus actually creating them. Now wanting to somehow have a hand in his success, meanwhile critiquing and shading his interviews. Now right when Club Shay Shay dropped the explosive interview with Cat Williams that got over 50 million views, Stephen A. Smith decided to come out of nowhere with the video dissing and responding to Jason Whitlock and he hyped the video up before releasing it to try and take away a bit of the shine from Shannon Sharp. But before he dropped that video, he took it upon himself to shade Shannon Sharp's guest Cat Williams. Before I say anything else, it's important to know. I cringed. I cringed. But I needed to touch on this subject once I saw this sound right here from Shannon Sharp himself on Nightcap talking his Nightcap show with Chad Ochocinco talking about his interview with Cat Williams. Listen to this. While all you guys there were Shannon, you needed to follow up question with what? I said I didn't ask no follow up question when 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 Fed said he didn't steal the joke. Right. That's not for me to decide. You decide. Mm -hmm. You decide who do you agree with. That's mm -hmm. not my decision to make. That was it. I never said I was a journalist. I never professed to be a journalist. Mm -hmm. I'm an entertainer. If you want hard hitting questions, yeah, sixty minutes is the platform from you. Right. Dateline, forty eight hours. Go to left to hold. Go to somebody that does that. That is where my problem lied. Shannon Sharp did not tell a lie. Shannon Sharp is not a journalist. He's a Hall of Fame football player who's a three-time Super Bowl champion, arguably the greatest tight end in football, and clearly one of them, who also happens to be an entertainer. He did not tell a lie. But Shannon Sharp cut himself short. Now Shannon Sharp actually peeped a shade and he had a fire response directly coming back at Stephen A. Smith. Check out what Shannon Sharp had to say about the shade from Stephen A. Oh, those are your boys and you let them talk about your boys. That's not what y'all mad about. That's not what you're mad about. Oh, yeah. you're not even a journalist. He could have got so much meat off the bone. You're not mad about that. Right. You're mad that 27 million people to the right now. Mm. My part, my subscribers on Club Shay Shay jumped up 500,000. Mm. That's what you mad about. You mad about now all of a sudden my IG. I'm over 3 million in that. That's what you mad about. The potential. Man, y'all know what's going to happen now? Man, somebody might come throw a boatload. Or Unk might be. That's what you mad about. Yeah. But when you, was, when you was biting the apple, I never said anything negative about y'all. I gave you, I gave you y'all credit. I never criticized anybody because I look the way I look at it, Ocho. Everything I saw my brother do, I said I can do it. Right. You know why? Because he lived in the same house I lived in. He got rained on just like I did. He right. had to go outside to the wood to go to the bathroom just like I did. So hell, if he went to college, why can't I? If he go to the NFL, why can't I? Mm -hmm. So if I see you guys do something, you do it. You're damn right. I believe I can do it. Yeah. But you think you don't? Hey, look at this. I got this out the mud. I came from the trenches. Right. And you got more hate in your heart. With all that you got, that you've yeah. been blessed with so much, and all you do is hate on a man that you think better. How about get better? Create better content. Mm. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to leave it alone, Ocho. Yes, sir. And this man, everybody that's out there. You preaching, you preaching right now. Nat. Just because you're first to do something, that don't mean you're the best at it. That he got so much, he always has something to say. Right. Now, this is the same guy. You know what? I ain't gonna even no. Look here. I like that. Sometimes people, sometimes success, the only success they get to taste is taking a bite out of you. Mm. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I'm doing what I'm doing. 
Now, less than 24 hours after Shannon Sharp interviewed Monique, Stephen A. Smith again attacked his co-host interview by saying it was full of negativity. I'm going to transition from this to a subject that's going on right now that's percolating. And I'm going to revisit it a little bit later on in the show, but I'm going to start the conversation now. And it's going to be an extreme left turn from the world of sports to the world of pop culture and entertainment. And that would be my man Shannon Sharp and his interview with comedian and Oscar award winning star Monique. Because he did a sit down with her for his club Shay, his club Shay, Shay podcast recently. Um, and to say that it was a bit similar to Cat Williams, it was in this regard. It was three hours long. Cat Williams' interview with Club Shay Shay was nearly three hours long. Not only was it three hours long, it involved a lot of ridicule, a lot of calling out. Um, and to be quite honest with you, it highlighted a lot of issues that are going on in the comedic world yet again. And some would say it's taken an extreme turn where it's so tinged with negativity, it's made folks, particularly in the black community, uncomfortable. Now, to give you an example of the kind of thing that I'm alluding to, I want you to listen right now to Monique sitting down with Shannon Shaw. And in this instance, talking about superstar comedic individual, Mr. Kevin Hart. Listen to this. I said, good shit, Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol and we're trying to get our talk show back. Mo, whatever it is, I got you. Now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest entertainers right now in the world, Correct. right? And was then. We got off the phone with Kevin Hart. We called in the mall immediately and said, Kevin Hart said, whatever we want to do, he got us. He's going to partner executive use. They was like, oh, this is incredible because when you put Kevin Hart's name on it, you already know what it is. Correct. Two weeks go by. We get a call from in the mall. In the mall says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. So whatever she told y'all, he doesn't want to do anything with her, nothing. You know, he doesn't want any any kind of relationship with Monique. So what transpired or what do you think transpired between then that two that two week period? I called Kevin Hart immediately. I said, hey, baby, we just got off the phone with Endemol and they said Dave Becky called them up and said, you don't want anything to do with me. He said, Mo, that's that's a miscommunication. I can tell you right now. I said, wait a minute. Are you OK, though, with this white man calling them up? Getting in between our relationship and something you said, he said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's a miscommunication. That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. And somebody has to say it, so I'm going to say it. It's become problematic for black people. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. We're starting to look really, really bad. And some would say, Stephen A., what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean start? We've been making ourselves look bad for quite some time. Now, for those athletes out there, former athletes, you know, because the people that tried to look at me and would sit up there and would say, Stephen A., you know, sell it out. Sell it, I can't stand his ass, blah, 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 blah. Bump them. They full of it. You were performing on a court or the field of play. I called you out for your performance. And that was that. That wasn't black on black crime. If you are a player and you're getting your ass kicked by somebody who's dropping 40 or 50 on you and I call it out and that person has to be happens to be black. How am I knocking down my community? Because I point out the fact that you put your talent on public display is getting your ass kicked. Uh, it's my obligation to point out that you're getting your ass kicked, and that's all that happened. That ain't selling out. Now, with friends like this, who needs enemies? Now, it may lead one to wonder, did Stephen A. Smith really bring Shannon Sharp on his show to help him out or to help himself? Now, for you to be on the same team as somebody, but you're currently critiquing all their videos, 
you critiquing all their viral moments it seems like a lot of jealousy that's in that situation you see this man you know he leave one platform creates his own platform and he's going super viral and you've been in the same spot you've been in for the longest you got maybe a quarter of the amount of subscribers he has your views aren't that great unless you're actually talking about Shannon Sharp. Is this some hater shit or nah? I want to know you guys' opinion on this, man. I really want to know from you guys. Do you feel like Stephen A. Smith is throwing major jabs at Shannon Sharp? And he can't help but to be jealous of Uncle Shay Shay. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share these videos. And I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.